community. Yes, I think I'm um, among many questions, and um, I've been processing my questions and my thought with a lot of people, and they had given me pages and pages and pages. Um, but this, this word of the anticipation piece, mm -hmm. um, together with the piece of resistance, mm -hmm. is, is very dear to me. I've, I've been influenced by liberation theologians. Mm -hmm. I'm, Puerto Rico, I'm from Puerto Rico, so I've been reading a lot. And um, it, it seemed to me like, um, for the most part, if we have embraced hope, we are living into the piece of resistance. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I am, I am interested in, uh, in, personally, I'm interested in examples of where are the concrete practices, rhythms, or values that we can live as we anticipate. Um, within, within, the, within the global social movement, there have been a lot to do for, for resistance. And at some point, people have realized, we, resistance always takes us too far. We better start creating alternatives. Yeah. So there's people creating co-ops <coughs> mm -hmm. and creating new ways of local government. <coughs> yes. What are some concrete examples in your experience that you've seen of this happening, of us as communities of faith, of the church actually creating enclave for the future or actually you know, landing places for the future or piercing that? Uh, on, in, in, in any concrete examples if you, if you have had or... or well, these movements are not always Christian churches, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, but many Christians take part in these movements, and uh, some of them are very effective. For example, uh, when the Green Party started uh, in Europe, and especially in Germany, they were extra parliamentary opposition groups. Then they formed a political party, a small one, and uh, were bringing the ecological questions uh, to the public. And after uh, 20 years, we already see how they pressed these topics or questions of ecology into the other parties, even to the conservative parties and the neoliberal parties. They all talk about uh, the environment and uh, save the environment and so uh, they all have become more or less green. And the same is true with uh, forms of uh, social justice uh, groups in the Social Democratic Party in uh, Germany, now more or less all the parties have uh, on their agenda social justice first, even before free market. Uh, even the neoliberals are now for social justice first, and uh, if uh, there can be a free market, that's okay. Uh, but. Uh, so the influence of small groups of alternative life uh, uh, change of uh, co the conditions uh, are very effective and many young people in Germany don't join political parties anymore because politics is limited to a nation or the European community while attack or uh, doctors without limits uh, and all the other groups are global. Global engagement uh, for young people, and this is much more attractive than a small political party in Germany. Um, especially attack, another world is possible I would say not only another world, but a better world as possible mm -hmm. uh, is very effective in attracting many uh, young people and who engage uh, and give uh, 
time and energy of their life for it. And this has certainly an influence uh, upon the whole situation of, on the globe. Were, were you able to see, were you able to see that kind of um, alternative life within the base communities that you visit and the, the, that uh, you had encounter with? Because um, sometimes we, we have an understanding of the base communities as basic, quote unquote, a different kind of home church, house church, but some of them actually embrace different practices and way of living that were different from the dominant system. Um, um, and if so, how, how did they touch you? Uh, how, well, how, what, how was what I have seen of it in Nicaragua, uh -huh. uh, next to... Uh, Dominican Republic? Uh, oh, no, no, in, no, 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 Honduras? No, no, no in, in, in Nicaragua, uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh, is to live a community life mm -hmm. in the slums, mm -hmm. to show the people how mutual help will bring them out of the misery. Uh, so uh, they all, always say the contrary of poverty is not property, but the contrary of uh, poverty and property is community. Because in a community, we are very rich of ideas, of energies. We can help ourselves. Uh, it's only the individualization uh, coming through commercials, and as a, uh, which is, is making people uh, powerless. But in a community, <coughs> we are strong. And uh, the Christian churches should be reminded of the first Christian congregation, according to Acts chapter 4, I believe, there was not a needy person among them. They had everything in common. Uh, this is a promise and uh, a, um, a commandment, so to speak, in all our Christian churches and communities. Uh, a Christian church is a life <coughs> when it, in the congregation there are a lot of communities. So a community is a life where smaller communities live together. We have one, uh, normally the churches in Germany are only half filled, as you know. Uh, because, because after a, a worship in, in Germany, you cannot ask, did you enjoy the service. <laughs> there was no, nothing to enjoy in. <laughs> but there's one church uh, in uh, Tübingen, Jakobus Church, uh, which is overfilled every Sunday uh, because they con consist of smaller communities who meet in the houses and uh, work for third world issues or the, the poor, the, the table as we call it, uh, feeding the, the, the poor, and et cetera. And then in the service, after, after the sermon and prayer, uh, these groups show up and say what they have done in the last week and uh, where they need uh, help and a person could engage and uh, et cetera. And that's, that's the most lively church we have. Um, but this is an old uh, knowledge, I believe, that a community consists out of communities, not of single uh, person or individuals. Individuals form a lonely crowd. Only communities form communities. And, uh, and if this is, uh, um, this is practiced in churches, people will look at it. Uh, 